For all of us in this House and beyond who have worked tirelessly for decades in the hope of lasting peace in the Middle East, yesterday's decision took an absolute hammer blow to those hopes. It is, there is a reason that before yesterday no other country would locate their embassy in Jerusalem and no other major country would recognize Jerusalem as, as Israel's capital. Because to do either thing, let alone both at the same time, confers legitimacy on Israel's occupation of East Jerusalem, an occupation with no basis in international law and which is a permanent barrier to achieving the political settlement that we all wish. The sheer recklessness of that decision needs no debate. Donald Trump is not crying fire in a crowded theatre. He is deliberately setting fire to the theatre. And then he has the unbelievable cheek to claim that he's doing this to move forward the peace process, when in reality he is setting it back decades. And as usual, Mr Speaker, as with the Muslim ban, the Paris Agreement and the Iran deal, the question for the UK government is twofold. First, what are they going to do about this mess? With Donald Trump willfully deserting America's role as peace broker between Israel and Palestine, how will we work with our other allies to fill that void? And second and finally, Mr. Speaker, when will the government admit that they have got their strategy with Donald Trump totally wrong? They told us that holding his hand and hugging him close, indulging him with the offer of a state visit, was the best way of wielding influence and shaping his policies. But on Jerusalem, as on so many other issues before, they have been made to look like fools, weak, ignored, and entirely without influence. When will they realize that bending over for a bully only encourages that behavior when what our country needs and what the world needs is a British government prepared to stand up to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah.